Yo, 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 it's D. Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about spiritual benefits from seed retention. Why you will get blessed immensely when you decide to retain retain seminal fluid for for a certain amount of time. For it could be 30 days, it could be 60 days, it could be five months. You will get spiritual benefits. You will raise your awareness. You will become you will become very comfortable with yourself. And this is this becomes the bottom line with any anything that you want to do is how comfortable can you get? Because once you get comfortable, um, maybe you're playing basketball, maybe you're talking to a chick, maybe you're doing something, that maybe you're driving a car. How comfortable can you get? Because the more you get comfortable, the more your your subconscious takes over. And the more likely you're finally going to pretty much win in whatever you're doing. This is the this is the big difference because the thing is like a lot of people are just not comfortable with with things. You have to be a hundred percent comfortable with whatever you're doing. Maybe it's talking to a chick. You you have to get it, you have to get it to the point where you're one hundred percent comfortable. And the more comfortable you get, probably the more comfortable she'll get she'll get. And it's just a lot easier for things to flow. And the best way to be, become more comfortable is one to go and see retention and just develop very good habits for yourself. Because if you're going, if you're combating going to war every day, maybe it's in the gym, maybe hitting new PRs, maybe doing something you're uncomfortable with, you're going to, you're going to finally become more comfortable in normal settings. Um, An example, like maybe you're going through like sickness or something like that. If you if you were if you maintain like a healthy lifestyle and then maybe a maybe a sickness sickness does come come on you, it's just a lot easier for it's a lot easier for your body to combat this because it's been very it's it's gone through a lot of uncomfort and now this is the easy part. This the same as maybe when when NFL players are going through ACL repairs or no NFL players are getting are going yeah are going back from a, like ACL repairs or something like that if if they <clears throat> if they just do more things they're like preparing for recovery and they're coming back from a you're, they're preparing to go back to like the normal game if they do things a hundred percent harder than what is really expected of them by the time like the game comes it's going to be easy for them this is this this is another example. So maybe when you were you were watching all Dragon Ball Z, and Goku was in the hyperbolic time chamber, and he was just he was in a setting where it was a hundred, a hundred like the the gravity on the place was a hundred or tenfold. When he got back to Earth, like he was, it was just easier for him. He he had electrifying ability, and this is how you pretty much want to think of your life the more you get very uncomfortable the easier it is the more uncomfortable you get the easier it is when challenges come that you'll it's easier to cope and it's easier to progress through things and seed retention um helps you finally become more comfortable with yourself and then and then like i said the more comfortable you get it's easier for your subconscious to take over and it really is easier for you just to be the best version of yourself it's easier for you to be it's easier for woman attraction if that's what you want it's easier for maybe you have a job interview it's easier to nail the job interview it's easier to interact maybe you work in sales it's easier to close the point of this is you you become the more comfortable you become with yourself the easier the easier your life gets and you will start getting more blessed immensely when you hop on sea retention and you just become more comfortable. The bottom line is to become comfortable. Um, because like I said, your subconscious will start taking over once you finally, you, you, do, you start doing things more on autopilot. Um, another example is like when you decide to, when you first began driving, it was really hard for you to do it. But now if you've done it for like maybe five years or more, like you're very comfortable with it and you can do things a lot a lot with a lot more efficiency 
um, your subconscious is taking over. You want to get to the point in whatever you're doing that your subconscious takes over. Like, for an example, someone like LeBron James, he's been playing basketball for literally like 20, 20 plus years. So now, like, everything is automatic to him. The, the hard things are automatic. He's trained his body and his brain to do the very hard things, and now they're very easy. They're very easy for him to do, and this is why he is so great, because he's trained his his body, he's trained his um, mind, his body, his physique to do the hard things in a to make it as a habit and now the very it's just very it's a he's in the flow of things he's in the flow of a basketball game that's and the thing is like you 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 stop trying and then like i said your subconscious takes over and then once you get to the point where your subconscious is taken over in whatever you're doing you will pretty much be unstoppable if you train this muscle this is how the great this is how the great um, NFL or NBA or MLS or people who play sports become so great because they have trained their bodies to do the very uncomfortable things, the very hard things to make it easy for them. And now their subconscious is pretty much doing the work. It's like driving a self self car. You ha you have to steer it a little bit, but it will get to the point, get you to the point in 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 high efficiency. And like I said, um, and the way this is connected to your spiritual powers is because, look, your spiritual powers, um, your, the subconscious pretty much knows all. And once, once its subconscious is taken over, and once it's, the subconscious is powerful, the subconscious is comfortable in some sort of situation, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to pass things in in a in an a effort like everything's going to be just very normal to you everything's going to be very easy for you you want to get to this point the reason why people fail is because one they probably don't prepare as much and two they're probably they're 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 thinking about the things they're doing like like another, another example is if you if you want to go up and talk to a girl obviously you're going to think about if you're asking questions like what do i say like what do i do how do i do this how do i do this you're it's not going to be as efficient she's not going to feel you as much you want to get to the point where you're not you're no longer think consciously thinking about the things you're doing your subconscious is doing things for you this is how you get to the most powerful state that you can become this is the most potent way to to literally become the best at anything you want your subconscious mind to take over the things that you're doing um maybe it's karate maybe it's just you want to get to the point where your subconscious is taking over and the way to do this efficiently is to literally repeat the the actions that you have to do every single day you have to repeat it another example steph curry the greatest three-point shooter in the history of the world is he has gotten to the point where Every, all, the shooting motion, the memory muscle is so automatic that he literally knows when the ball is going to go into the hoop before it goes to the before it gets into the hoop. He does not have to consciously think about doing any of this. You want to get to the point where your subconscious is literally taking over. If you're, if you want to get to the point where you're in rhythm, you're in rhythm. You're in the flow of life, and literally, you're you're literally you're literally a part of nature. You're literally a part of nature. And so if you're a part of nature, nature's plans is for you to succeed. But the reason why people don't succeed is because they keep giving excuses. They keep blocking their blessings. They keep thinking that they keep they keep thinking that this isn't connected. They think they keep thinking that they're separate from nature. They think they keep thinking that they're separate from abundance. They're separate They're They deserve less. They keep affirming things that are just not true to their real nature. And whatever, like I said, whatever the subconscious accepts as fact, it will make it your reality. So you have to affirm the best for you. Block out all the noise, affirm the best for you, and become the best at whatever you're doing. And your life will mirror a very abundant life. Um, And the thing is, your spiritual superpowers will be... 100% tenfold when you're on, on seed retention. Your super, spiritual superpowers are 
become more automatic you're literally this is the person that you already are you're returning back to your true self the reason why people don't attain this this type of level is because there's just too much distractions out there they keeps the we live in an over sexualized life we live in over we we they tend they feed you with these type of garbage foods to make you to sedate your real self from coming out they don't want you to go on see retention they don't want to take they don't want you to take care of your body they don't want you to meditate they want you they want you to live in fear they want you to be stuck they want you to be paralyzed because if you're if you're living in fear it's easier for you to get controlled it's easier for you to get controlled. It's easier for people to tell you what to do. It's easier for you to listen to authority. It's easier for you not to um not to question anything. This is why this is why this, the public education system is probably one of the biggest scams on the face of the planet because it's it's in, institutionalized way of putting out workers out so so they learn, but they, they're, they're never really exploring for themselves. They're never really figuring things out for themselves. They're conforming. They think anybody who isn't doing this is weird. They say things like everyone else is doing it, so just do it. Th this is the way to live a mediocre life. This is a way to be part of the 95%. The, the people who have actually become great, looked at the masses of people what the masses of people were doing and did the opposite they went their own path that they thought for themselves they kept going they became somebody they were they they intentionally did it day in and day out and they become they really became the best versions of themselves so i mean the choice is up to you you can either conform to the society be told what to do and live live to your lack last luster potential or you can find things out for yourself and you can become the greatest version of yourself they want you to consist they want you to consistently relapse they don't want you to become great they want you to be fearful they don't want you to think for yourself they want you to be an obedient worker they want you to be an obedient slave anything that goes against the grain is frowned upon Everything must be in line. That This is why in school they make you walk in a straight line in a line. Everything must be orderly. The so-called teacher who's supposed to know things is reading off a script. The lessons are already predetermined. It's institutionalized. It, it does not extend creative thinking. You're, it doesn't make you wander. It doesn't make you think. They most powerful what version of yourself is the type of is when you become very when you start thinking they want you to be comfortable because you you don't think you're on autopilot but once you start thinking once you start becoming creative and you start thinking you're literally you're creating you're be creating something dangerous this is why this is why like little kids when they start thinking for themselves can really become they be, they can become powerful because they they don't have any else's opinion on what they should be doing they're literally they don't have any free predetermined judgments they're literally figuring things out for themselves and then they they somehow can come up with something very great or they need or or every time like their superiors tells them that they shouldn't do that they listen because they kind of have to so yeah um free thinking figuring things out for yourself um going all in into something letting your subconscious takes take over whatever you're really doing you will become great because look everyone is de is destined to be great but like i said there's too many x factors on why there's too many other things that make people not there's too much distractions they're not becoming great they're conforming to the reality they don't realize they they can create they don't realize how powerful they can become if they become if they become focused they don't realize this um your your spiritual powers will become heightened you will literally become a co-creator and you will pretty much you can manifest pretty much a lot of things on in this reality um 
So yes, if you have any questions about what I just talked about, comment and subscribe. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the subscriptions. And just comment about what else you want me to talk about, what else that we can do to really become, become as magnetic as humanly possible. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.